Dear Endurance customers and followers, I welcome you. My name is George Fomachev. Today I want to tell you what to do and how to connect your 10 watt and 10 watt plus laser. So this is our typical uh, laser control board. It has two position switch, actually three position switch. One position is uh, full power and this is to tail. So when you get this board, you need to uh, connect your these two wires to your uh, PWM uh, pin. So uh, red one is plus, black is ground, and uh, then you can run your laser in a second position, which means TTL. So if it's full power, it's full power, and doesn't mean uh, doesn't matter in uh, how you wired your uh, wires. If you TTL, then these wires actually uh, will will control your uh, laser. If you want to make sure that you have correct pin and you have correct everything is uh, nothing is defective, just use a 3.5 volt uh, battery and uh, check it out by uh, connecting plus and ground and the laser will turn on in this position. Also, these wires, they go directly to laser diode. And, for example, we ship uh, DIY laser kits and sometimes we send without diodes for security reasons to some countries. And then you need to solder uh, your uh, laser diode uh, inside a heatsink. So it's quite easy to install a laser diode into a heatsink. So usually the heatsink looks like this. This is a brand new heatsink with mirror polished uh, inside uh, hole. It's uh, 12 millimeters. And you just need a screwdriver. You unscrew everything. You use a special thermal paste. Uh, uh, this is actually KPT, Russian version, but you can find any thermal paste on eBay or Amazon, but we usually ship it um, with, uh, with a package. So you just need to put this paste inside the heat sink, but very, very thin layer. Don't, uh, don't do it like, uh, like, uh, like a ketchup or mayonnaise. <laughs> so it should be very, very thin. So that's uh, when you uh, cover it, just inside, insert your laser diode here and screw everything everything back. Make sure that it's here, it goes very very uh, tight. So that's about inserting the laser diode and turning on a uh, 10 watt laser. Another very important uh, thing that I want to tell about laser uh, laser laser box so we typically send it with a, a 10 watt plus but you can also order it for 10 watt unit so it has the same uh, wires for TTL and you have a connector for your heatsink so usually it goes like this so there is a hole inside a heatsink, so it goes like this. And also these two wires, like on 10 watt, they go directly to laser diode. So keep in mind that these wires, they have resistance. So for example, you would have here uh, voltage, for example, 5 volts, but here at the end it could be 4.8 or 4.7 because uh, these wires they have resistance and while uh, current goes uh, while while electricity goes uh, through these wires it loses uh, voltage and therefore it loses a little bit of current so make sure that uh, when you measure and you do final tests you have less than 5 volts here uh, when you connect and when you wire and solder it with your laser. So here is also uh, positions. One is full power, zero is, is off. Here we have uh, this one is TTL position 
and this one is Arduino. So Arduino, or it could be in different ways, we actually don't really <laughs> care which, which is Arduino and which is TTL, but you can also test it with uh, these two uh, these two wires. I mean, I mean, we don't have uh, certain standards because we sometimes we use three a switch position and sometimes it's only two switch position and that's why it could be in different ways. But one is TTL, another one is Arduino. So when it's TTL you just uh, connect these two wires with uh, battery uh, 3.5 volts or anything between 3.5 and 12 volts and uh, see if the laser starts working. It's the very simple way to test it. Uh, here is a fan that we actually use to cool down AC-DC converter and here is an Arduino uh, Arduino hole, uh, Arduino uh, plug. So you use it only when you run an Arduino mode. So in this Arduino mode you have to have power to your Arduino through this uh, mini mini jack. So you wire uh, you, you connect mini jack with uh, USB power and you have this uh, position it means that you can now uh, use your laser in programmable mode it means that you can change power intensity in our Arduino sketch uh, you can find it on our website by uh, text or by typing in search Arduino generator and you'll find the sketch and the file that you need to upload through TerraTerm software and also use uh, the power uh, to plug like uh, likewise on on uh, 10 watt laser the same uh, construction here and you use it here so we also said that some uh, power supplies they're not uh, good enough so they lose power you'll see on this indicator that the volt incoming voltage is less than 12 volts if it's dropping less than 11 then you need another power supply and also here uh, the optimal parameters should be in range 4 on 4 volts to 5 and the amperage should be from 3 up to 4 5 amps in average for 10 watt laser so uh, that's what I was going to explain to you about uh, adjusting wiring and soldering 10 watt and 10 watt plus uh, without using our laser box and laser control board um, so once again if you have more than um, for example 12 volts to control uh, your uh, PWM just let us know we'll send you a step down to CDC converter if you have less than 3.5 volts that uh, that pin is using to uh, that pin is you are using so we can actually send you an additional uh, an additional tool that will uh, change a voltage so it will in increase the voltage so the laser will also turn on another another situation when uh, some of our customers they say that their CNC machines it turns on with less than three volts and off with more than five volts we also have an inversion uh, PC board for that just let me know if you need it so I think that's pretty much it I was going to explain you and tell so if you have any questions just text me um, plus seven 916-225-4302 or simply text me a message uh, email gf at enduranceroberts.com so hope that you like this video and it will help you with uh, replacements and with fixing uh, lasers if it's broken <laughs> I hope it won't but sometimes it happens we're, we're not <laughs> we're not in God mode sometimes things get broken and also when you assemble your own a DIY laser unit. Have a wonderful engraving and enjoy upcoming 2019. Bye bye.